What's up, YouTube? What's you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to our Sun and Moon anime review of episode number 79. Last time, we were at a fireworks festival where we were introduced to Blacephalon, whose explosions wound up bringing a Zerka tree. Um, the Ultra Guardians confronted the Zerka tree and were interrupted by Blacephalon. These Ultra Beasts squared off in a boom, boom, crackle until the gang of kids made their own fireworks show. Uh, which was topped off by Ash using the Lycanium Z move, Radial Edge Storm, to take out the Ultra Beast. The kids then sent it off. It was quite a big episode. And in today's episode, it was, it was pretty emotional, but it was kind of emotional centered around Sophocles. And you know I'm not a super fan of Sophocles. Um, but if you checked out this episode, make sure you let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and let me know if I missed anything or if you have any different thoughts. So the group is back on Ula Ula Island and they're traveling up towards the Hokulani Observatory where they see a shooting star and they all start to make their wishes and Sophocles is like, hey, that's not a shooting star, it's actually a minior, which is a shooting star. So like Sophocles, we're a minute into the episode, you've already said one stupid thing, you can stop now. Uh, but at the top of Mount uh, Hokulani, um, the group meets Molane. We see Molane for the first time in game, who looks very nerdy. He kind of fits his 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 uh, what's the word? He kind of fits. I don't know. It, it, it just kind of works out for him. Um, but it turns out that Kukui and Molane are best friends, and Molane is Sophocles' older cousin. And the group will be staying at Molane's for this field trip that they're on. Minior and Poipo, a promise faded into the starry sky, which looking back on it, dang, that episode title pretty much says everything that's going to happen in this episode. But at the observatory, the group is looking through a telescope to see into space, and they're seeing all of these galaxies and all kinds of stuff like that. And we just saw a galaxy in the last episode, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure I said a universe that Zerka Tree spun himself, he spun up a, I think I said a universe, it was definitely a galaxy. Realized it after the fact, but everyone is taking a turn to look into this telescope except Sophocles who's sitting off by himself and acting like he's all something. He's like, yeah, I've seen this before, you know, this is my cousin so I've been here before. In fact, I've befriended a Minior before and he points down and points to a shell that's at the observatory. And all the kids go down, they're looking at it, they're like, oh, this is the shell of a minior. And Ash is like, so what's inside of it? And he goes to peek inside of it, and he sees like an eye blink at him. He's like, wait, something's in there. So he gets closer, and it's Poipo. And Poipo shoots him in the eye with it, with his ink. And Ash is running around trying to catch Poipo and winds up causing Poipo to knock into Pikachu, who almost electrocuted everyone, but they're all saved thanks to Togodumaru until Molane's Magneton comes up and excites Togunamaru, resulting in everyone getting shocked anyway. Outside that night, everyone is looking up at the stars and they're all amazed and they're putting constellations together. We see Lily put together the Alolan Ninetales, we see Ash point out Pikachu and uh, Poipo, and then we see Lana's little joke and self go, oh look, there's Rayquaza! And everyone looks and like, what, Rayquaza? And it turns out she was just pointing out this very I guess Rayquaza looking constellation in the sky. Now Sophocles points out there's the, that there's about to be a Minior shower where all of them land and they all head over there and Poipol is just amazed by all of these shooting stars and he's having the time of his life and he goes over to a Minior that's just landed on the ground and that has gotten rid of its shell and he looks in love with this thing. Now, Molane teaches the group about the core and the shell of Minior, saying that they absorb debris in space to build up their shields. And Sophocles is standing by, and he seems to have the memory from this Minior that he met from before, but he can't remember exactly what happened. So he's trying to recount it, but he's very distant from the group, which if I was the group, I'd be very thankful for. That's not right. That's right. That's not right. Don't exclude anybody. Everyone should be blah, blah, blah. Uh, now, uh, Poipo notices that there's a Minior that's still sitting on the ground. All the other Minior started to go up towards the sky, but one Minior was still on the ground. He was inside of his shell. 
So Ash runs over and he starts to break it open and Molaine's like, wait, 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 don't do that or it's going to explode. And the group's like, all right, let's not do that. Sophocles again is like, is that what happened last time? Because he can't remember where that minior that he befriended went. Ash and Kiawe decide, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and carry this thing back and they have, they're having trouble picking it up. So I looked it up and Minior is actually 88 pounds. So it makes sense that two 10 year olds have trouble carrying that thing. Overnight at the observatory, Minior is just sitting alone on the couch. They're just waiting for it to come open. But he's just wrapped in a blanket sitting by himself. Kukui and Molaine are outside talking and Molaine's like, how much do you want them to know about Minior? And Kukui says, I want them to know everything. They're all gonna see so much about Pokemon. Now that we're here, let's teach them everything. And all of the kids are sleeping. All of the Pokemon are sleeping, except for Poipole, who's being a bad person. He's checking on Minior, and he taps the he taps Minior with his tail, and the Minior shell cracks. And Poipole shrieks out, and everybody comes and sees Minior as it hatches into the core of Minior, so he loses his shell. Again, Poipole seems extremely interested in the Minior, and he's so excited that he sprays it with his ink, which winds up angering the Minior. And, and Poipole, how's he gonna make it up? Well, Poipole decides to paint a painting of Minior with his ink, and the two of them started playing together. So the theme gets started with all of the kids playing with Minior, and they're sledding down hills, and. For some reason, Kiawe and Ash were playing baseball and they were just being extra. They decided to use their little, whatever it is, dynamic full flame throw and gigavolt something swing and blah, blah, blah. Ash winds up winning, but Sophocles is off sitting by himself again. And Molaine comes up and asks, why are you sitting alone? And Sophocles is like, I can't remember what happened the last time I saw a Minior. What, the, what happened to my befriended Minior? And Molaine remembers I think he like doesn't want Sophocles to remember. Even though it's like about to happen again, I don't know why Minior didn't just say anything. But as the group, or what? I don't know why Mo Lane didn't say anything. But as the group's having lunch, Mo Lane explains that tonight will be the peak of the Minior showers. And Sophocles still sitting there and he's like, I have no idea what happened. That night we see a ton of Minior land on the ground, but no shinies. They could have done something cool with the shiny Minior, because we know shiny Minior is black. He looks amazing. He's one of the cooler shinies of Gen 7. They really could have done something cooler. But in a flashback, we see small, skinny Sophocles remembering that his Minior had started to fly away. We mentioned earlier, all of them, except for this one that was still in its shell, had started to fly back towards the sky. And Kiawe notices that the shell on the ground is very weak and it breaks apart very easily. And Molaine is like, that's what happens when they fly through the atmosphere. You know, just like with an actual meteor, it, it loses its strength and it starts to break apart. So Kiawe's like, well, what about the one that we found yesterday? How come that one was different? And Molaine's like, it's very rare, but sometimes they fall with hard shells. And Sophocles comes up and he says that he remembers when his Minior left. And we this whole time we've been seeing Poipole and Minior doing their thing. And they're floating around with each other. They're all amazed at the sky with each other. The Minior all start to fade towards the sky, but they actually start to fade away. And Molaine explains that when Minior leave, not all of them make it back to space. They, when they, after they lose their shield, they will eventually all fade away. And this is what happened to Sophocles when he was younger. His Minior faded away right in front of him. So as the, the Minior that we've seen with Poipole starts to fade away, Poipole goes to catch up to him, only to see him fade right in front of him. And Poipole's torn up, but he looks towards the sky, which is, you know, the, uh, the materials that are left over of the Minior that faded away are you know talking crying out to him and Poipole goes down um, to Ash and we see Ash looking sad and he talks to to Kukui and Kukui's like hey the memories of them being together is why we do stuff like this and we have to remember that and since you're here you've got to help Poipole remember that and so Ash hugs onto Poipole and Pikachu and they're all having a great moment I guess as we see all of the Minior flying slash fading away. And then 
Lana points to the sky again, and Rayquaza is actually there. <clears throat> kind of makes sense, since this whole Minior shower thing doesn't happen very often. Maybe Rayquaza is here just for the event, just for that to happen. But if is there only one Rayquaza? Are there multiple Rayquazas? I don't know. This seemed very, very, very random to me. But to be honest, that was it. The whole episode was about Minior coming down, Poipole and Minior bonding, Minior floating away, and then there was a Rayquaza. Certainly not like the episodes that we had gotten, you know, where Ash took on his third grand trial and where we saw two Ultra Beasts go at it, but they've got to have filler. And this one wasn't bad. Minior is a really cool Pokemon. Poipo is awesome. I love Poipo in the anime. He's one of my favorite characters. I'm excited to see where he goes. But next week, the group is exploring an icy area. I'm going to assume it's Mount Lanakila because that's the only icy area that I know of. But we see a bunch of Alolan Sand Shrew. Um, Sophocles winds up finding an ice stone and a couple of the kids get trapped behind big rocks and as the group's trying to get them, as the rest of the group is trying to get them out, we see them fighting against the Tyranitar. Which is convenient because this weekend was Poke Pokemon Go Community Day where you could catch Tyranitars. They could have lined that up a little better. But anyway, that was it. A very simple episode but I think they did a pretty good job. I'm not a fan of Sophocles, so I'm glad it was more centered around Poipole and the flashbacks were Sophocles. Again, if you checked out this episode, if you watched the episode, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We'll see you next week. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.